Hello guys, um, today I want to show you how to build a Wi-Fi bridge over 600 or 700 meters with a special TP-Link antenna. Um, this antenna model costs about $60. Um, it's a directional grid parabolic antenna made for outdoor use. So now at first we have to unpack this one. This is the metal grid, um, then we have the mounting unit to put it on the mast or on a pole. I don't know how it is, how it is called, uh, but I think you know what I mean. This is the main module of the antenna with the connection cable. And here we have some little things like screws and this little thing for the antenna module and now let's start to assemble it According uh, to TP-Link and the product description, uh, this antenna will allow connections over 65 kilometers. I don't know if this really works, but I read that some people build up connections about 2 or 3 kilometers. Now the antenna is ready to connect to a route or access point. Um, here we have the connector of the antenna. To connect it to an access point from TP-Link, you need an adapter cable. 
called pigtail cable. Um, with this adapter cable you can connect to one of the connectors of the access point. I will show you. Yeah, no, it's, it's together. But in my case, I need a antenna extension cable. This is about five meters. This is my access point I use. So here in one of the three, you can plug in the cable. So now I will connect the extension cable. So by the way, this is the mounting kit to put it on a pole. And this is how it looks like and should work later. So now we will configure the two access points on the two sides. Um, over typing the factory IP address in the browser, we are coming to the web interface of the access point. And with a quick setup, it's very easy to make the configuration. For site A, we use the operation mode access point. Um, and give the wireless network a name and a password. And on the next page you can set up the network configuration matching to your existing network. Um, in this video I will do this with the existing config. And after that site A is done. Now we go to the access point of site B, the same way as we did on site A. Um, site B is the side we want to connect via the wireless bridge to site A. And here we can choose a bridge with access point or client as the uh, operation mode. And at first we will start with the client mode, later I will show you the bridge with access point mode. So searching for wireless networks now. And after that you should see the configured network from site A. There it is and to this we will connect with the settings we made so type in the given wireless password and on the next step you have to change the the uh, IP address because two identical IP addresses in one network is not so good um, whether a DHCP server is needed, you must know yourself. So here you can uh, save these settings to a text file and yeah, now we are clicking on finish and the access point is going to restart because we changed the IP address. After that the bridge should be ready to use.
So let's log in again. So yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's working. So uh, I will test it with the ping to the access point on the other side. That you see that it's really working. So let's ping the access point on side A. And you see it's working. Good. So now I will show you another operation mode on side B. Um, it's called bridge with access point. Um, if the access point is located in a building or something else and you need on side B a local Wi-Fi, then this mode is perfect for you. With the two original antennas on the access point, we can make a local Wi-Fi. And yeah, now it's searching for wireless networks again so here you have to connect to the network from side A2 at first and after that you can set up the local Wi-Fi I will call it local Wi-Fi 2 give a password and click on next and here I will change nothing because we did it on the other operation mode. Um, and then you click on finish. The router or the access point don't need a restart because we did not change the IP address. And yeah, now it's done. You have a local Wi-Fi and on your wireless device, your phone or notebook or something else should display this in the wireless settings. Yeah, there it is. So that's it now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.